Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, we're going to be writing a Python program which accepts a sequence of comma separated numbers from the user and generates a list based on those values. Without further ado, let's just get started. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to get user input and we need to store that into a variable. So, without complicating things, I'm simply going to say values are equal to input. And then inside of here, I'm going to say enter a number of values separated by a comma. And I'm just going to put a comma here as an example. And after that, we're basically going to be saying, or just for now, actually, let's go ahead and print those values just so that we can see what exactly is happening. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it. As you can see, it does ask me, enter a number of values separated by a comma. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one, I'm going to put two, three, four, five, six, seven, and enter. And right now, what happens is that it actually saves everything as one string under values. So values right now, as you can see, when I print values, it prints the entire string because it saves every single number of those as one whole number. This whole thing, sorry, as one whole string under values. But we don't want that. We want to save it into a list so that we can actually select each specific digit alone. So to do this, what I'm going to do next is let's just go ahead and remove that print values. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say list. So I'm going to now create a variable called list. And maybe you can actually call it something like user list is equal to, and I'm going to say values dot split. And inside of here, I'm going to put a comma. So what did I actually do here? Basically what I said is I created another variable called the user list. And I said that this user list is going to be equal to values to each single value separated by a comma. So what we are going to do, and let me just create it over here is one, two, three, four, five. Let's say we have the user enters this sequence of number. This user list is going to go over values. One, oh, there's a comma. Okay, let's add one as its own number or as its own digit inside of our list. Two, and then there's a comma. So it's going to basically split each, this entire string based on the number of commas here. Let's go ahead and now print user list. I'll save and print. Enter a number of values uh, separated by a comma. I'll simply put one D five G uh, T uh, David, for example, and let's run. As you can see, now it saved each single input saved by a comma in its own in its own number or in its own position. And that means I can do things like this. I can go to a user list and I can say, for example, I want the order 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I want item number 4. And if I run this, it's going to ask me now and I'm just going to say David uh, B A whatever it is that I'm saying. And as you can see, it said one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and gave me 4 E. I can also do things like this. So I can go back and I can say len and I can run this and let's just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and it's going to give me the number of items inside of our list. So that's basically for this episode. I did show you how you can enter select user input and add that into a user list. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. Have a good day.